Hi everyone, today we are back again with another video. So in this video, we are going to discuss about how to create digital agency website. And I am going to show you everything about this video. How you can get the domain name, how you can host the website. So here, I am going to show you here. Just go in the Google and search domainregister.com. This domain, basically this domain register you can get the domain name also you can buy hosting name okay suppose any uh, any name you can put here okay so like a digital agency i'm going to put here okay digital agency india okay so here you can get your digital agency india something so i'm going to add here we add earlier okay then we can also get that any shared hosting or any c panel so now i'm going to click on the order now the basic informations here you can check here first of all what kind of storage you need suppose here the basic informations we have like what website you want to host and we have the ssd approximately 1024 mb is sufficient and 5 gb bandwidth 3 FTP connection, MySQL, SSL certificate, and email ID. So this price might be you can check. You just convert to INR. So you might be this pictures clear in your mind. So now here the personal personal plan you have. Okay. So what are the basically difference between the personal and basic? Here you need to pay one four two nine something. But here we have the multiple storage space and also here multiple bandwidth so if you want you can select this one okay so let me add this one now i'm going to show you we have this domain use this okay and also we have a selected this plan which is the 1429 something okay just click on the again continue and now this id protection so you can protect your informations okay spam using enable protection so we can add like this one dns management if you need you can also click on this okay this is a really free so you don't need to pay any amount okay so here you we have we have seen here personal website and domain distance only we need to pay 2028 rupees okay and just click on the checkout and you need to put your information here once you put in the informations you need to click on the complete order so i have already account so i'm going to show you after everything is done what you need to do when you submitted the payment everything so what you need to do i'm going to show you this is my uh, account so i'm going to home i have one service which is uh, here you need to click on this button which is active once you clicked on you need to add you, you can check basically the cpanel also is there so this is taking little bit time so i have already created this website okay so hope so you can check here so we have the home page we have banner here inside of the banner also we are text and descriptions find out here one button our services we can add multiple services if you want you can add here below about sections we have mission vision images right side and client you want to add you can add here and also we have why choose us so you can need to put okay and here the global team man so if we are showing basically he has a team okay and subscribe button is here you can put here any input okay for newsletter something so you can add and you can check your home and service we have and inside the service what I, whatever service you want to provide to the client you can add inside the services let me show you this is taking little bit time might be internet is not working properly okay let it be so you can check here the services with a digital strategy okay here the creative design and whatever you want to provide to the client you can add below okay and here the client logo you need to put here and okay and here have a project of mine so also you connect with the contact us page okay so might be this picture is clear you guys now what we need to do here yes we have created this we have now about page in about page of course you can put your informations related to your organizations okay so here the core values and here information so uh, normal information information you want to put you can put here and what client says so you can add text only like this one also we have the multiple things i will show you in realistic example so don't worry about it okay and now we have the contact page 
and inside the contact page we have the contact form here okay we have the here followers here also we have it in map so this website we're going to again create so i'm going to remove first of all so after login what you need to do look we have the logged in inside the domain register so i am going to click on the again domain click on the login to cpanel okay once you clicked on the login to cpanel what you need to do i am going to show you everything so don't worry about it okay let it be so here we are i am going to remove from the wordpress here you need to scroll down below click on the wordpress again we have my my app let me click on the this is my app now i am going to remove remove everything this will take little bit time so yes now we have done so now what we need to do here we need to install again wordpress okay inside of the here we are going to root directory we want basically okay here i'm no i don't want any name here so you can put as blank also this is username and password i'm going to hide my password let me add this is password here you need to put your email email id whatever you have this is my personal email id i'm going to put here as a theme okay click on the install this will take little bit time the field name is required must be side name demo yes we have done i'm going to click on the home page and as well as admin okay i'm going to close this one now you can check we have the admin and also we have the home page so now we need to install digital agency theme okay so here i'm going to click on the add new and here you can check here i'm going to put here astra here we have the extra i'm going to click install this will take little bit time because of internet issue i think so yeah here we need to add install importer once you clicked on the elementor now you need to add here as a free now you can search here digital agency okay now we have the options i'm going to select this one click on the import complete site yes i am wordpress developer Vikna, myself click on the next put your name and your work email id click on the submit and import this process will take little bit time because uh, we have sent the surprise gift on your email address so of course this is taking little bit time but after some time you can check the website which is really beautiful and also we need to install one two plugins or more than so don't worry about it importing wp forms importing contents zero percent yeah finally yeah so so you can check why this is taking little bit of time because of yeah importing multiple things at a time yeah so now we can visit the website look amazing yeah so demo you can remove from there click on the customize just wait you can demo from there yes 
yes now what we going to do here let me show you suppose this banner you want to change so what you need to do just click on the edit with elementor So once you click on click with Elementor, this will take a little bit of time, so don't worry about it. Now you can check here, okay? Suppose this text you want to change, just click here and you can put here whatever you want and just click on the updates, okay? And if you want to style change something, so you just click on here and you can change the color also, okay? So whatever you want, you can put here, okay? I'm not going to update, okay? If you want to change this one, of course you can change from here now now we're going to below of course you same things you also you can change from here if you want to change the services of course you can put services and whatever you want you can also add from there we have the options like uh, widgets look we have the multiple blocks yes from there you can use whatever you want like suppose we have the free services if you want like me search from there look these are free services and you need to click here like this one of course some configuration things is pending from there you need to verify your account from the elementor i am not human as a truck we need to verify it. this is truck 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 yes again the truck 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 click on the verify might be this is verify finally yeah click on the connect yes so now you can check the we have the more services and you can configure from there okay so i'm going to remove this one what so i will explaining you how you can import the multiple things also okay here you can check we have the about or same things also you can the change from there just click on the button here you can change if you want to change this one of course you can do that okay any extra module you need of course this way you can add any modules okay and here with the images if you want to change the image of course look here you can change change image from there only and here we have the client same things also if you want to change that this one text basically you can change from there if you need to change this logo of course you can change from there here title and descriptions you want to change you can from there and here banner you want to change of course you can need to click here banner and of course then you can change from there only here we have the two title and description some things of course you can change around there and just to scroll down here something kind of block something you need to update so if you want so you can change from there only subscribe button i don't think so why the form is not coming we'll look at why this is not coming might be some issue is there layout HTML might be over, no one, nothing. Style, no. We will look it after some time. No, no worry about it. Okay. Then we have the footer part. So footer part controlled by the widgets. Let me show you how this footer sections we can control. Uh, let me show you from the admin panel. Also, we can check, and also you can customize the website. Let me show you from the admin panel just go inside appearance widgets look from there only you can change like we have the copyright something we have the footer brand new okay so this way you can change okay for the text basically whatever you want you can add here let me show the website name services about okay name services about and icons we have here you can customize the options basically the copyright things is there footer menu and the social icon you have widgets you want to change something so you can also configure from there only Look. F 
copyright part is there the email id and address main sidebar look the post things is there header footer we need to check from there home services about yes home services about contact contact okay and text is there and also same thing is repeating again okay so this way you can change from the backend only and uh, next is about and services page let me close this one so services page again you can check from the same things for we have done in the home page you need to click on the edit element so this way you can change the text and description and uh, this icon anything you want to change from the elementor of course you can change and here uh, suppose we have the title here and we have the icon of course we can change from the only clicking on the, this edit button okay so like here we have the image also you can change the image and here title and descriptions kind of things is there so of course you can change and here again we have the title again we have the descriptions of course you can change from there only and uh, click on the same things for the checking purpose let me show you about might be this is not working let me show you of course this is fine so this way you also you can change the about setting same i already explained you again we have the contact so contact to form is not coming let me show you why this is not coming let me go inside of the dashboard so basically we are using here wp forms click on the all forms and uh, also here we have the contact form so just click on the contact form and just copy the sort code and just go again the edit with element which is elementor basically i'm going to click here again and just click on this box i don't know why this is not coming properly again yeah just select which form you want here yeah. we have the contact form we got the contact form finally and just click on the update we don't need to put here i think so yeah uh, any extra things so yeah of course this is fine now and also same things happening in the home page let me check again i am going to click on the elementor the subs for subscriber basically i am going to check the below part for the newsletter basically yeah let me show you yes here we have mm, yes i don't know why this is going to up again yeah let me check again if this is not fine let me check again yes now this is fine yeah let me update this one again check the home page look this is fine might be yeah so contact in contact page if you want to change something of course i already saw in the, here you want to change some address and any icon some things of course you can change from there yeah, let me show you how you can update suppose if you want to change something contact you can change from there contact us and here get in touch if you want to change something get in touch you can check here and here we have some address so of course you can click here and you can change here whatever address you have and just click on the icon if you want to change something click on the library here we have the multiple icon of course you can select from there only yes phone number of course you can change phone number for uh, clicking this uh, button basically and uh, let me show you the follow i don't need right now here because we have the footer also and footer section also we can add so i don't know why this is here so of course you can go from yeah we have removed from there and here you can check we have the box for basically a yeah, location if you want you can put here whatever locations you have okay like this one yeah we have so we have put it here so whatever address you have you can put here only now again just click on the update let me show you again the contact page 
but here your contact page will not work because we need to configure okay so just click on the submit yes this is fine because we have the already required fields here and we need to submit the all information then we can submit so yeah here you need to add some SMTP configure things okay because of sending email you need to verify your account so then you can send the any email to the user so just click on the install and active if you don't know how to set up the SMTP I will give you one link for the description area also you can check from check out from there how to configure SMTP to sending email okay so I'm just going to see the example here then you need to follow the link of course then you can also understand how to configure SMTP in the your website also so hope so this is fine and if you need any help definitely put your comment in below I will try to resolve your problem also thank you for watching this video yeah